Hi guys, um, I know it's been a minute, so thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about freeform crochet and getting a little outside of the box, at least for myself, with my crochet art. So I was introduced to freeform crochet through looking at like portraits and different things that people have created on Pinterest and Instagram. And here is one of my absolute favorites. I think their work is insane and is such an inspiration for me and my work. Um, so I'm gonna take you through a couple of the projects that I've been working on and explain kind of my thought process and things that I would like to do in the future. Okay, so my first baby, not good. So I'm not showing that to anybody because it did not come out well. The eyes looked really evil and was not what I was going for. But it did give me a basis of how to create this one that I'm about to show you. And yeah, create my own self-portrait, which was something I did not think I was going to be able to do. So this is my weird picasso e self-portrait um and i'm gonna talk a little bit about like the colors and what my inspiration was so i've been just trying to get out of my own box with when it comes to crocheting i'm trying to get out of my own head and just get more creative with it and use it truly as an art not just something to sell because that is kind of what it's become for me it's just fulfilling orders and it wasn't fun for a hot second. So with this, I went to an estate sale, which is another video coming, but I got a bunch of yarn and I was like, all right, what am I gonna do with all this yarn? And a lot of it was cotton and small skeins. So I thought, why not just use it for free form? So I started with the brown eyes because I have brown eyes <laughs> and I wanted that to be the one thing that was realistic about the portrait. And then I decided that I wanted to do warm and cool colors on each side of the face. Um, so I made the little swirly whirlies for the cheeks and then kind of just, you know, did it <laughs> for the rest of it. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing. I sketched out something, but it did not at all come out like what I had sketched out. Um, and then with the hair, I just did a little, you know, squiggle on the top um, with increasing and decreasing so it made waves and then I used this um, I think it's homespun um, but this yarn to create kind of some texture with the hair because I have some texture with my hair um, and yeah so this was my first one so for this next one I wanted to do something a little creepier and <laughs> get something with um just a little bit more i don't know a little bit more flair with it i guess um so i made this one called rose colored so where the eyes should be are roses so it's like a rose colored view of the world um and i used some similar colors from the other portrait with these pinks and with the shape of the lips the rest of it was going off of other portraits that i have seen so trying to shape the face, and I would have done something darker for the nose had I known that it would have come out like this because I feel like it's not really defined, but you live and you learn. Um, and I have a lot of this fun yarn that I've gotten from various yarn hauls. So I figured why not just use it for the hair to give it some texture. So it's a really fun like, little bun on the top yeah so it's meant to be a little creepy but i really do enjoy it so for the next freeform pieces i had some wedding stuff left over and we were originally going to make center pieces with hoops but we ended up just buying them <laughs> um so we had a bunch of these craft hoops left over and i just was staring at it was like i need to do something with crocheting with that so i decided to do some freeform crochet and I think online these are called like scrumbles or it's got a weird name 
but I was just watching videos of doing different stitches. So you can see in here, making like the little flower and then working with these um, and just making little squiggles and different things. It really challenged me um, and challenged me to get out of my comfort zone <laughs> because I really like things that are uniform and you know are perfect per se and this is there is no perfect way to do it so i did a little series so this is the first one um the second one i used the same colors and just went for a different one so i carried some of the themes like the little flowers and then these thick stitches um but i did this fuzzy yarn on the outside instead of on the inside and then for the third one, I did this. So I carried the green on the outside and then again carried some of these same stitches. Um, and just, I like the way that the white pops in this one, but I think they're all so different, but really cool looking. Um, I've contacted a local coffee shop where they do art installations. So we'll see if I get into them, but I know their submissions are closed right now, so I just gotta wait for the next round to see if I can get in. Um, yeah, and I'll show you guys now some of the stuff that I've bought and what I plan to make. My fiance and I went to Goodwill and we got these frames. And what I plan on doing is creating a background for this one, just crocheting one and pinning it in um, in the corners because it, it is like a canvas feeling material, so it should be able to pin into really easy. Um, and then maybe doing something florally um, and just kind of doing like freeform flowers and a little meadow thing is what I'm thinking for this one. Um, for the next one, I got this one and yeah, I just really like tea so I thought it was funny. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna cover it up and in the back it's got wood that I can pin into and I am going to crochet around this and I think what I'm doing with this one is a face theme and I'll grab the faces really quick. So these are the faces. I absolutely adore them. I think they're really funny looking and I really love the little nose on this guy. So what I'm thinking is doing the faces like this and then having eyes and different flowers and just weird shapes in the corners. Um, so it's something artsy and fun to make um, and again it challenges me because there is no pattern I'm just making it up as I go um, and then I have a little frame and I figure I can do just a small piece in this um, so maybe either a gift or just like a small thing to sell um, but yeah so I hope this video can be encouraging for those of you who are branching out in your crochet styles um, freeform is definitely something that I have just been totally sucked into. Um, it's really fun to do and I hope that this can be encouraging for you that maybe something to consider, um, maybe get out of your own box like I got out of mine. Um, but I also want to encourage you that with selling your art, make sure to price yourself fairly and make sure to just trust the process. and. As cheesy as it is, like the whole believe in yourself thing, but really do believe in your own ability and your own work. Um, I think that a lot of the times, at least with me, I know I get them to my own head and I think that my stuff doesn't look good or it's not going to sell. And I'm always surprised when people compliment it and want to buy what I'm making. Be sure to price yourself fairly, make stuff that you enjoy making and that you're proud of and don't be discouraged when things don't sell immediately. That's something that I am guilty of. Um, but yeah, just make things that make you happy and get back into the craft that you enjoy. Um, and something I've been learning is just don't make it only about business because that is just really draining. Um, but make stuff that you enjoy and that's fun for you. So thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope it was encouraging and I hope that maybe it can spark some inspiration for you as well. Um, be sure to follow along with my channel. I will be posting different types of crochet content and hopefully some tutorials soon. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day.